It's Miss Sarah from Penyon Public Library. I'm trying to catch all the bubbles. You can try to catch them too. And if you're at home and you don't have bubbles, that's okay. Move around, warm up your body, get ready for story time. We're gonna get all the wiggles out. I'm just gonna bubble up my nose. Ugh. Do you like our new story time nook? Miss Melissa set it up. She did a great job. All right, are you all warmed up? Let's do our countdown and I'll turn off the bubbles. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye, Bubbles. Thanks for popping bubbles with me. Are you ready for story time? Let's sing. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Woohoo! Don't forget to woohoo at home. And I've got my drum. If you don't have a drum, that's okay. Do anything you can to make noise. And I'm gonna say my name and tap it out on the drum. So my name is Miss Sarah. Did you hear it? One, two, three. Miss Sarah. Now you do your name and I'll listen. I can hear you. Great job. You've been practicing, haven't you? Do you wanna do it again? Okay. Wonderful. Great job, friends. All right, let's sing. Let's do open, shut them. We're gonna warm up our hands a little bit. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but don't let them in. You didn't let them in? Good job. Let's do it faster. Let's take a big breath first. <sighs> All right, here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but don't let them in. I didn't let them in. Did you? All right, we'll try again. Two big breaths this time. That was one. That was two. Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lift them, lift them, lift them, lift them, them right here. Chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. But do not them. All right. Great job, friends. It's time for our first story. Today we're doing stories about numbers and about playing outside. Two of my favorite things. So our first story is called Numbers at the Park. It's by Charles Gigna. Numbers at the park. One child swinging in the morning light. Two children flying a big red kite. Three children riding on a carousel. Four children ringing a bright silver bell. Five children playing with puppets on stage. Six children dancing across this page. Okay, dance break. I'll get right back to you. Seven children blowing bubbles in the park. Eight children Chasing fireflies in the dark. Nine children painting pictures of the moon. Ten children singing a bedtime tune. It's fun to count our numbers. Let's count them once again. It's fun to count our numbers. Our numbers. One, two, ten. Will you count with me? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job! 
Thanks for reading along with me. We have a great song to sing along that helps us practice our numbers. You need your hands for this one again. Here we go. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten fingers on my hands. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. Ten fingers on my hands. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Ten fingers on my hands. Should we do it again? It's a little long, so let's try practicing. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten fingers on my hands. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. Ten fingers on my hands. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Ten fingers on my hands. Great job, friends. Let's try three big breaths. And then we'll do it one more time ultra fast. Here we go. That was one. That was two. That was three. It's nice to take big breaths before we try something hard. It helps us relax. All right, here we go. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten fingers on my hands. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. Ten fingers on my hands. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Ten fingers on my hands. Great job, friends. You did a wonderful job working hard to learn that new song. I'm really proud of you. To celebrate, we'll read another story. This is a pretty new book to our library. It's called Tangled by Anne Miranda. It's about all different shapes going to the playground. What playground do you like to go to? We have so many great playgrounds around our library. Here we go. One day, a little circle, just as happy as could be, got caught inside a jungle gym and couldn't wiggle free. Her friend, a tiny triangle, tried hard to get her out. He tugged. But he got stuck as well, and both began to shout. A square came on the double, climbing in to help them flee. He pushed and pulled and twisted, but he couldn't set them free. A rectangle ran over, and he offered them a hand. He tumbled toward the jungle gym and landed in the sand. A slim ellipse who saw them was the next to shimmy through, but when he tried to get them out, he got entangled too. A cone directed traffic as the points began to flock. The stars all congregated and the cubes went round the block. See the stars congregating? Any guesses on what that word means? Look again, what are they doing? Talk to your grown up see if you can figure it out. The Pentagon parade arrived and did their very best, but every single one of them was captured with the rest. A trapezoid photographer took pictures of the scene. A parallelogram felt sick and turned a little green. What a horror, what a mess, the shapes could not untwine. Then rushing to the rescue came a straight and narrow line. She looked at every space and every curve and every angle. She had a clever plan that would undo the messy tangle. She pleaded with the other shapes for them to volunteer. 
One stepped a perfect prism with a solid looking sphere. The plan was made, the sphere would jump upon the count of three and polygons who heard the scheme applauded it with glee. Everybody held their breath. The sphere rolled and hopped. The prism and the line held tight and out the circle popped. Their lever worked a miracle and all the shapes were saved. What a clever little line, a tetrahedron raved. The line convinced the jungle gym to make her spaces wider so little shapes would not get trapped or tangled up inside her. The circle's playing happily with her untangled friends. This geometric tale's unwound and now the story ends. The end. Does that ever happen to you? Did you get stuck on the playground? I hope you got out. Otherwise, you'd still be there. So we have one final story today. It's called One Little Blueberry. It's by Tammy Salzano. Do you like blueberries? Me too. I picked a lot of them this year. One little blueberry fell onto the ground. Two tiny red ants spied it from their mound. Three spotted ladybugs saw it rolling by. Four fuzzy bumblebees dove from way up high. Five shiny beetles said, that belongs to us. Six sleepy crickets chirped, what is all the fuss? Seven wiggly caterpillars thought that they would munch. Eight pretty butterflies cried, please don't touch our lunch. Nine hungry spiders crawled closer to their treat. Ten hopping grasshoppers said, hey, it's time to eat. And well, the bugs fought over who would get the yummy prize. A bird swooped down and ate it. Gulp right before their eyes. So silly. The end. Look at all those bugs. If I hold it up, can you point to the screen and count them? Who can count how many of the fireflies there are? Good job. What about the bluebird? You might have to look very closely to find any bluebirds. All right, and how about the bees? Who can count how many bees there are? I'll give you a hint, they're black and yellow. Great job, friends. All right, it's time for our last song of story time. You know how it goes. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. Roll your hands around and wave goodbye. Thanks for watching, friends. My beanstalk fell down. Don't worry, I'm okay. I guess the beanstalk is tired. I want everybody to know that we are having a story walk this weekend on the outlet trail. So it'll be set up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday all day from dawn to dusk. On the outlet trail, you can park at the Cherry Street entrance and walk east, and you'll be able to follow the story Cat's Colors. It's really fun. Uh, bring the kids, bring a stroller that can go on the outlet trail, uh, dress for the weather, and enjoy the story. Hope to see you on the trail. Bye, friends. Have a great week.